Well, San Diego's police chief has criticized a controversial new California law that allows people to loiter with the intent of engaging in prostitution. Joining me to further discuss this is Chairman of Reform California, Mr. Carl DeMaio, who is up bright and early at 625 to join us this con this conversation. How are you, my friend? Good morning, Paul. All right. You, uh, you get the ball first. You uh, make your statement. I'll follow it up, okay? Okay, so uh, about a week and a half ago, KUSI brought you a story of District Attorney Summer Steffen and San Diego Police Chief David Nislet holding a press conference where they announced a, a sting operation they conducted over a period of several weeks here in San Diego where they arrested over 47 individuals uh, in regards to prostitution. Not the prostitutes themselves, but human traffickers, the Johns. Uh, they say that uh, prostitution and human trafficking and the sex trade uh, is uh, it's skyrocketing. And they pinpoint a specific bill, SB 357. This is a bill that Governor Gavin Newsom signed into law last year that basically said police officers are not allowed to uh, go and engage uh, prostitutes on the street when they're loitering or soliciting for prostitution, which means it's taken a tool out of the toolkit, Paul, to actually help these uh, young men and young uh, women uh, get out of this, uh, this evil enterprise. Uh, we've seen a skyrocketing in prostitution. Our streets are filthier than ever before. What's interesting about this, Paul, is that Mayor Todd Gloria crashed the press conference. You, and this is very interesting because he showed up and he was like, well, a whore in church on Sunday. Uh, he knew that he he backed this bill. He's a big supporter of SB 357. So he stood off to the corner, said some things about why, you know, we have to protect the young and the children and then very quickly snuck out the back door. Well, he's one of the guys in the state legislature who was responsible for the passage of this bill. And he still says, get this. Sex work is real work. This guy, as mayor, has been an absolute disaster, and the sex trade is just, you know, example number 10 as to why. All right, well, th this is the vision of what? Uh, Scott Weiner, uh, state senator from the Bay Area. Uh, well, he, he, he's the one that uh, is the lead author on the bill, but remember, Scott Weiner, the state senator from uh, San Francisco, who also has a bill to legalize psychedelic mushrooms and passed a bill that um, uh, allows uh, someone to sexually molest a child as young as age 14 and avoid being listed on a sex offender registry. I mean, this guy is like the patron saint of predators. Uh, but but news, uh, 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 Gloria has supported each of these bills, and yet he's at a press conference saying, oh, yes, I'm very concerned about sex trade. Give me a break, Todd. You're responsible for these issues. Uh, you, you beat me to the punch because I was going to say Mr. Weiner is sort of out there on the uh – on the fringe, fringe. of uh, uh, on the fringe of society, but even it, even with the super majority, it only passed by a vote or two. Correct me if I'm wrong. How hard will it be to repeal this now that we see the unintended consequences? Or I don't know how you could not see the unintended consequences. Even I could see that. Hey, this is going to have a real, real bad effect for the street life. It's a terrible bill. But here's the thing. By hook or crook, these guys get these bills passed that benefit criminals and hurt kids. They hurt society, increase crime. And then it's very hard to get the book, the bills off the books because you have to pass it by a majority in both chambers, get a governor to you know, sign the legislation. That would have to have uh, 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 the result of each of these people admitting that they were wrong. Todd Gloria has yet to be asked a question by the media. I know KUSI tried. Uh, but uh, no one's asking him the question, why did you back this bill? Do you regret backing this bill? Will you call on Gavin Newsom to apologize and help repeal the bill? No, he's silent. But I will give credit to our district attorney, Summer Stephan, as well as our police chief, David Nislet. Recognize that the police chief could be fired by the mayor at any time. And the fact that our police chief is courageous and principled enough to stand out there and say, this bill that my boss backed uh, is causing young women and young men to be uh, taken advantage of and, and, and sold into sex trade. Uh, that's quite something. So we need to start asking tough questions of Todd Gloria. It's happening under his watch. It was his bill and idea that he backed. So let's get our mayor on the hot seat and get him to clean up yet another mess that he's created. Well, we had Shane Harris on just earlier this week talking about the racial profiling element of it. And Shane Harris is no, no, uh, 
I mean, he, he stands against racial profiling in a big way, but even he admits that this is, has nothing to do with racial profiling. He's calling upon local leaders. He's calling upon the county board of supervisors to all support the repeal. Well, if you have someone like Shane Harris in, in your corner, well, can this be repealed in your view? Well, a broken clock is right twice a day. So we'll just get back to the, the main thing, which is the bill itself was sold, as you just mentioned, uh, as a way to fight racism. They said that the cops were racist because they were disproportionately uh, arresting uh, people of color and transgender individuals. They said this is uh, making uh, walking while trans illegal. No, if you take a look at the people who were engaged in sex trade, uh, they tended to be oversampling. They, they tended to reflect more minorities and, of course, uh, more transgender individuals. I'll let you, uh, you know, explore why you think that might happen. But the point I'm making is as to why uh, the numbers are different than the population. I'm sure you can also make the point that the police may be favoring 90-year-old grandmothers because last year across the country, we checked, by the way, Paul, not one single police officer arrested a 90-year-old grandmother for prostitution. Can you imagine that? It's clear ageism. They're clearly favoring the old people while they're going after these young people. Well, you and I both know there's no 90-year-old grandmother out there engaging in prostitution to get arrested. So when you look at these stats, you've got to put these stats in an accurate fashion, in an accurate context, and what the media did on this bill, SB 357, and what Todd Gloria, Gavin Newsom, Scott Weiner did, is they lied to Californians. They said they needed to pass the bill because police officers were racist because the people being arrested for prostitution are, are minorities and, and they're trans, when in fact, well, look at the sex trade industry. That's a, a representative uh, and accurate reflection of the sex trade industry. We gotta start getting back to basics, which is fight the crime, and help the kids. And this bill does neither of those things. Carl DeMille, thank you so much for making KUSI part of your morning rounds. We will talk to you again, I guarantee.